Is it a home-built or a vintage airplane? Well, it's both in design and in age. The Hatz biplane was created by EAA or John Hatz during the 1960s, and another member talked John into selling plans. The first of the approximately 150 aircraft built since then debuted at Oshkosh in 1975. Other home built celebrating anniversaries include the Defiant. It's a twin engine fiberglass airplane that we're celebrating the 40th anniversary of its first flight this year at Oshkosh. It's the 50th year of the BD4, and it's one of the first Kit Bell airplanes available. And it's a great airplane. Um, it goes fast, it's aerobatic if you want to do that. It's one of the greatest little airplanes in the world. And the Acrosport created by EAA founder Paul Poborezny. It's a typical home built and that's sensitive in all axes. I mean, way more than any uh, factory built airplane. It sinks faster, but the acro sports better than the uh, pit. But anniversary aircraft aren't the only interesting home builds on the airfield. We call it a flight line series microjet. People say, does that really fly? <laughs> and who's the guy that flies this thing? <laughs> but it just draws attention no matter where we've gone. We promote it as a professional grade airplane and that's exactly what it is. It's capable of tail slides and just an amazing amount of maneuvers. And it's very stable. For help building or for assistance to keep your airplane flying, there is no better place to visit than the EAA workshops, a hands-on mentored opportunity not only for builders but for restorers too. People can come and actually experience hands-on and the idea is to show them the basics and hope to get the interest in so they can progress and move onward. So somebody can leave here and have an idea of, hey, I can do this, order a kit and start building. Air Venture is very diversified, but yet it really started right here at EA in the Home Builders building of airplanes.